Meanwhile, Hurricane Dorian is now the second strongest Atlantic storm on record and has made its landfall in the Bahamas, bringing with it torrential rainfall and strong winds. Now, the Category 5 storm with winds as high, with wind speeds as high as 185 miles per hour, ripped over Bahamas, uprooting trees and also ripping off several roofs. The multiple power lines have also been down and hundreds of people have to take refuge in schools, churches and other shelters. This is I need a video. And Hurricane Dorian has made its landfall in the elbow clay and is expected to sweep across Grand Bahamas over the next couple of days. And also, according to the National Hurricane Center in Miami, catastrophic conditions are expected in the archipelago. And the Prime Minister of Bahamas has called it as the worst day of his life and has ruled the fact that many people had in fact ignored government warnings. I need a video. This is probably the most saddened and worst day of my life to address the Bahamian people. Many had not heed my warning. Many had remained behind. And still there are individuals within the West End area who, had, who still refused to leave. I can only say to them that I hope this is not the last time they will hear my voice. Now what are you looking at on your screen is the image that has been taken from on board the International Space Station and it puts into perspective just how large Hurricane Dorian is as viewed from space. Now only Hurricane Allen back in 1980 had recorded stronger winds than Dorian and if experts are to be believed, Dorian could even get stronger from here. The U.S. President Donald Trump has said that the hurricane was first headed towards Florida, but may now strike North and South Carolina. Now, according to Trump, the next 24 hours are going to be extremely critical. The original course was dead into Florida. Now it seems to be going up towards South Carolina, toward North Carolina. Georgia's going to be hit. Alabama is going to get a piece of it, it looks like, but it can change its course again and it can go back more toward Florida. So we'll be knowing, uh, we'll be learning over the next probably less than 24 hours. But it is a very, very powerful hurricane. The next on Dorian's radar is also Florida. Many citizens of Florida have already started to brace themselves for the impact. Residents boarded up their homes and filled up sandbags to combat with the strong winds and the possible flooding. As many as about seven counties in Florida have issued mandatory evacuation orders. No Uh, a hurricane watch has been issued for the east coast of Florida from north of Deerfield Beach to the Volusia Brevard County line. A storm, storm surge watch has also been issued for those same areas. A tropical storm warning is in effect for north of Deerfield to Sebastian Inlet. Um, bottom line is you're going to see these watches and warnings increase on the east coast of Florida. I think a lot of the counties are executing their evacuation plans. We think that that's prudent and we support that. Some people in Florida have been unfazed, however, by the approach of what is one of the strongest hurricanes in human history. They have secured their boats in the harbor and are hoping to ride out the storm in their boats. Though the trajectory of Dorian is likely to take it away from Florida, even a small contact could in fact bring heavy downpour along with strong winds. The evacuations have all been ordered across the entire coast of South Carolina. North Carolina has meanwhile declared a statewide emergency in anticipation of the storm. The coastal states of the United States are of course taking no chances as Hurricane Dorian has come knocking on their doors.